hello everyone so in last video we have understand like how to perform a copy activity in azure data factory okay so in this particular video we are going to see how actually you can perform a delete activity if you have to delete a data from that particular container how actually we can do okay so we have one of the business requirement that actually we are going to understand and based on that we will try to create a data pipeline okay so let me explain what actually happening so suppose you have one of the web application from there actually you are receiving a continuously data into this particular source location and this source location is a input container input container you have in a azure storage so this is a azure storage account in azure storage account you have a input container and in this particular input container you are receiving a data from this web application okay now what actually happening on a daily basis we are receiving a data in this particular container so we are also running one of the pipeline which is actually copying this data on a daily basis to the other container okay so let us suppose this is the output container here actually we are copying a data now whatever the data actually got copy into this output location we want to remove from this source location right so we have to perform a delete activity for that in a azure data factory so in this particular video we will see how actually you can perform a delete activity so whatever the scenario i have explained uh, this can be a one of the business use case okay so let us try to see how actually we can perform a delete activity okay so for practical purpose I have this storage account. Let me open. This is my storage account. I'll go to the container. Okay. So, in this container, uh, in this particular storage account, I have created this input data container, and here I have a data available in employee one dot csv on a daily basis. We are receiving. Okay. I have created Azure Data Factory Studio. Let me open Azure Data Factory Studio. I'll go to the author. I'll try to create a pipeline. Just click on the pipeline. Click on the new pipeline. Okay. Now, what actually we want to do? We want to perform a delete activity. How actually we can do? So, for copy activity, we have to click on the move and transform. Okay. So, for delete activity, we have to go to this general. You can see delete, right? Just select, drag and drop. Okay. So, delete activity. So, in delete activity, what actually we want to do? Do first we have to specify the name. Delete source. Uh, input data okay that is the name i am giving okay after that we have to do a setting for the source so for the source first we have to create a data set so this data set will indicate where actually our data is so our data is coming into a blob storage so i'll select that continue after that we have to create a link service connection for that okay i'll click on the link service I'll try to select the Azure subscription. I'll try to give the storage account, and then I will try to check test connection whether I am able to establish a connection or not. Okay. So let us see whether it is success or not. You can see the testing connection. Okay, connected successfully. Click on the create button. Okay. So now our link service is now ready. Now we have to give the path location. So in file path, I'll select this particular folder, and I'll select this uh, employee one dot csv file. Okay. So in, as of now, I have selected employee one dot csv. But if you want to delete all the csv, then star dot csv you can give the path location. Okay. Then click on the okay. Okay. Now our source is ready, right? Now our source is ready. Now go to the logging, logging account link service. Okay. Where actually you want to log the data? Okay, so if you want to use the same blob storage, you can select that. Let me try to select the same blob storage, whatever I have. All the login details will get saved over there only. So I'll select that to see the connection. Connection established. Folder path we have to select where actually you want to store the login details. So that I have selected that. And let me do the validation. Let me click on the validate. No issue. After that we have to click on the publish all. Click on the publish, and after that we'll try to run up our pipeline, and we'll try to see our employee one dot csv file in input data it got deleted or not. Okay, so as of now we have done the publishing. Whether once it will complete, then we'll try to run our pipeline. Now publish is completed, no error found. Now what we will do? Now we will try to run. How to trigger a pipeline? Click on that trigger. Click on the trigger now. Click on the OK. 
okay now if you want to monitor go to the monitor section click on the refresh so this is a particular pipeline which is now running and it is succeed also now let me go to the input location if i will try to refresh you will see the employee1.csv file is now deleted and we have also selected the logging details right so when we have done it okay when we have selected the this path okay this is the delete file in a logging setting right so we have specified the log details path right so what actually we have done in a input data this particular path only we have against so here we have all the logs details okay so we have a log details here but we have the original file whatever the file was there that got deleted okay so that is how actually we can perform a delete activity i hope you got the idea okay uh, mostly for the logging we create a separate container and we try to save the all the logs details okay as of now here i have given the in the same folder only okay so that is how actually we can perform a uh, delete activity i hope you got idea Thank